gotta say on a bike this is quite a lot easier than on a car because I can avoid the potholes much easier Good morning internet, it is quarter past eight in the morning and welcome back to the channel, welcome to Botswana. Today is going to be my first real ride, full ride in Botswana. I'm pretty excited about it. Um, I'll, I'll show you on the map what the plan is for today. So I am now here in Shakawe, just over the border here with Botswana. So you can see that I exited Namibia quite, <laughs> quite quickly. I just went pop, 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 hop, onto Botswana. And uh, my plan is today to ride to Gumare, which is over here. But I'm going to make a detour. So first I'm going to ride in the Todilo Hills. Um, so I'll just ride a little bit south Todilo Hills and then to Gumare over here. All right, let's go. I first have to ride back to, um, what's it called? Shakawe to get petrol. Because when I arrived, I didn't have cash. And then when I went to get cash, I didn't bring my extra fuel bags. So I first have to ride back about seven kilometers north, sort that out, and then I'm on my way. Total distance of the day, about 200 k's. So that should be totally possible. Anyway, you might notice that I have a different camera on my helmet now. I had to dust off my old GoPro Hero 8 because in the last video, the media mod of the GoPro Hero 9 that I've been using, uh, the audio thingy connection broke. And uh, unfortunately, yeah, more than half of the footage that I recorded for the last video was just, I couldn't use it because the audio was uh, completely failed. Ooh. So I have to go back to uh, my previous camera. So I'm really quite sad about that. But such is life, that's all part of the game, I guess. Things break <laughs> all the time. But uh, I'll just have to manage like this. Okay, back at the main road. Which is uh, has a lot of potholes, like these ones, which uh, you don't, you don't want to hit those. So big potholes, donkeys, a lot of obstacles around here. dark clouds I have not seen clouds like this in months I think definitely not in Namibia it was every day it was blue skies and sunshine so it was like last time in South Africa somewhere back in town There's a queue, even. Ah, this one? Oh. Not sure why the other cars don't go here then. Good morning. Now the ride can really begin. Not 
sure what's going on here. say on a bike this is quite a lot easier than on a car because I can avoid the potholes much easier hi <laughs> must be a school somewhere here oh and a pothole Everybody's waving. It's been a while since all the kids are waving, but I have to also keep an eye on the road because these pothole holes are nasty. So I am now riding on the dirt road towards the uh, Tidolo Todilo <laughs> Todilo Hills, and I'm pretty stoked about this place. Uh, it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. And it's also called the realm of the ancestors. Wow, because um, there have been tons and tons of archaeological finds here. Uh, and that evidence shows that people have been living in this part of the world for almost a hundred thousand years. It's absolutely incredible. Um, so I'm really excited to see it. I'll just have to follow this road for another 30 kilometers. There's loads of animals. Oh. Look at the little donkey! <laughs> So Dilo, this way. Hi. Good morning. Okay. Winning. This way, I think. 
I'm not sure. She said turn right at the white beacon. But I've already passed like three roads to the right. I think it's this one, but I'm not sure. What a cool track leading up to the to the hills here. Really stunning. Good morning. hiking time to go see all the treasures that are within these mountains mm -hmm. and sorry what was your name Paul Paul yeah. yes he's going to show me what is here the paintings I think there's some paintings but there's a lot of archaeological find, finds here right yes we have the boy and mama an old settlement on top oh there's an old settlement on top yeah but we're going to climb that yes. mountain yeah to the top. Yeah, to the ah, top. okay. And then we can see the remains of that settlement. Yeah, you see uh, the port, uh, port sheds. Because people have been living here since the Middle Stone Age. Yeah. Okay. So we are also going to see some uh, some remains of uh, the iron ores because they were they were mining specularite. Ah, yes. Can we see pieces of specular, right? Yeah. There's pieces still. We're going to see the remains as they were uh, smelting. How they were melting it. Yeah. We're going to see the, the remains, the waste. Ah, okay. Yeah. But they were using specularite for cosmetic um, purposes, no? They were using it to make tools. Uh, tools. Yeah. I thought it was also for like the the shiny powder. Yeah, it's, that it's some form of a metal. Yes. Yes, which was used to make domestic tools. Ah, domestic tools. Yeah. Uh, I thought they also used it as makeup. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're also up there. Yeah. Ah, yeah, there. But here it's also very visible. So it's, it's oryx. Yeah. Oryx and then I see rhino, or not? Yes. It's a rhino. I think rhino one of an eland. Ah, that is an eland. Yes. Yeah. How old do they think these paintings are? Um, between 70 and 100,000. 100,000. No, this can't be 100,000 years. It's less. <laughs> because these are somehow uh, related to the stone age. These ones? Are these, these not the stone age? Are these not the sun? The sun? Yes, because... Um, This is where they used to stay, probably, people. That almost looks like a donkey. Yes. Is so it a donkey? Yes, is it's it a donkey because we, we, he, with white paintings, 
they depict um, domestic animals. Ah, domestic animals. But that's a giraffe, or not? With yeah, that one is a giraffe. Long yeah. neck, yeah. and then a cow? A cow. We have goose, cow. Some are not clear to, to yeah, tell. Yeah, yeah. But that one looks like an elephant. Mm -hmm. Which one? The, with the red? Ah, yeah, yeah from the front. Mm. Let's see what else is here. So this is an interesting uh, place because it has got both white and red paint. Yes, yeah. Oh, wow. wow. Those are really cool. And then some oryx here also. Those two rhinos are amazing. Oh, and there's the giraffe, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, what did you say? There's yeah, the rhino, which oh, there's also a rhino there. Mm, the zebra. Oh yeah, but those are really yeah, those are clear. And then what is this? A buffalo. Buffalo, yeah. Ah, cool. Yeah. But what I do? Wash them. <laughs> <laughs> it's da it's dangerous <laughs> filming out here. <laughs> Uh, cool. Alright. Bye. Okay. That was uh, the site. I'm not going to ride back. But um, I am so disappointed. Uh, I mean, Paul was, he was a really nice guy and bless him, he really did his best. But he was actually not the guide, he was kind of the, the site manager. And uh, none of the guys rocked up today, none of the guides, I should say. They just didn't show up, um, partly because there's just so little visitors nowadays that they are going to look for other jobs, which is understandable. Um, but Paul just didn't really know much. <laughs> and the th some of the things he said, Oh, he started with, with the first paintings. I asked him, so how old are these paintings? And he said, well, they're a hundred thousand years old. And I, I just know that can't be true. And um, this is not my area of expertise. I mean, I'm not a rock painting expert, but I know for sure that those paintings are a couple of thousand years old, probably like four or five thousand, maybe uh, similar age as the sun paintings in, in Namibia. But there is uh, no way in this world that those paintings are a hundred thousand years old. So after that I was kind of thinking, hmm, you actually don't really know what you're talking about. <laughs> and I obviously I've done my research on this place before I came here. So I knew a few things about it and he just said different things. So yeah. <laughs> and I'm just disappointed because there is just so many interesting things about this place and it just didn't came out. It just, yeah, I didn't really learn a lot. I did enjoy seeing the rock paintings. Some of them were really impressive and just really cool to see. And it was a nice walk. But um, yeah, other than that, I think the real value of why this is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, that just didn't really shine shame <laughs> anyway it is a stunning area look at this look at this scenery it's beautiful really beautiful i'm now just going to ride back and be on my merry way on to gumare and uh, we'll just take it from there here
It really was a long time ago since I had to avoid this many potholes. <laughs> People just start riding here on the side. They prefer the, the dirt over this. <laughs> but in this case, I think the tarmac is quite fun. Avoiding all these potholes. And there's animals on the roads to avoid. Oh, poor donkeys. I'm getting a beating. Ash. Even here, my navigation says. Doesn't seem to be a road leading into a town, but actually is. Oh, now I have to <laughs> cross the main road and Go straight to this truck. I am in town. It's the post office. Somewhere here. Is a guest house? Oh, there. Here. I think. Hello. Hi. Hi. And so I made it to Gumare, a quite a nice relaxed little town. I, I quite like this place. Um, yeah, today it was a little bit of a deception, but in the end I blame it on myself because you can only get disappointed when you have expectations that aren't met. And my expectations of the place were quite high. Um, but then yeah, if there's no guides, then there's no guides and um, yeah, that's why I was a little bit disappointed But yeah, I blame it on myself. Um, I can totally understand the situation for the people as well um, But uh, I still really enjoyed the walk. It was such a beautiful area and we saw elephant track and there's leopards also in the mountains But we didn't see any leopard track but it was just a really really beautiful place and it felt so different from Namibia so I was really like yeah definitely in a di different country the vegetation looked different and it was just really nice and I didn't have to ride very far today so that was also in the end quite relaxing I guess um, so yeah that was it for today um, I really hope you liked that the first full episode in Botswana uh, I have a feeling that I'm gonna have a lot more adventures in this country um, but uh, anyway that was it for today I really hope you liked this video if you did please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe down below and then I'll see you in the next video.